Okay, 2015, C3 question 7. It's quite a long one. Starting off with sketching the graph of this. So I'm going to start off, as I normally do, just with the standard tan graph. And that is asymptoten at pi over 2 and minus pi over 2. And I'm going to take that graph and I'm going to divide it, the x's, by 2. You do the opposite inside the brackets. So that means I am going to double my x's. So it will now asymptote at pi and at minus pi. And I'm going to extend that up to 4 pi. So if I take um, my graph that I have here, so y equals tan pi over 2. I don't need the 4. Um, zero, so we can leave it off. That's pi. The period is 2 pi, so that's going to be my um, 2 pi in there, and then up to 3 pi. It's my next asymptote. Drawing your curve, and I have to go up to 4 pi. It should be here. Now this graph wants a modulus, so anything that's in the bottom half is going to be reflected up. So y equals a modulus of tan pi over 2. Just drawn in the asymptotes, the first one is fine. The next one, that's 2 pi, and the asymptote is at 3 pi. So this bit is fine, and the bottom bit has been reflected up. And over to 4 pi, the bottom bit has been reflected up. Part 2 of this question, find the exact solutions of when tan theta over 2 equals 1. So if you do your basic angle in here, so um, or principal angle, so inverse tan of 1 is your 45 degrees, which is pi over 4. So basically theta over 2 is pi over 4. So theta is 2 pi over 4, pi over 2. So that gets me started. So this one here is pi over 2. The next one, is going to be between pi and um, 2 pi. So if you just list them all, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. The next one's in here, between 2 and 3 pi. So it's 5 pi over 2. And the last one's over here, between 3 pi and 4 pi. So it's 7 pi over 2. Part B of that question is saying, prove the identity down beneath there. So it's cosec theta over cosec squared minus 1. And the first thing that I'm thinking of there is I'm going to be using 1 plus um, cot squared equals cosec squared. So cosec squared minus 1 is the same as cot squared. So the bottom line there becomes cot squared. Cosec is the same as 1 over cos. Cot is the same as cos, sorry, cot squared, 1 over cos squared, 1 over sine squared. So I've got 1 over cos in the top, divide it by cos squared over sine squared in the bottom. To divide by a fraction, you turn the 1 after the division sign upside down and multiply. And um, so, just noticed here, sign. The reason I realised there was a mistake there was because nothing was cancelling. So now that's a lot better. Sign squared over sine cancels, giving me a sign on top. I've got a cos squared on bottom. So I have a sign over a cos times a cos on the bottom. Sine over cos is tan and 1 over cos is your sec. Part 2. Hence, solve this equation. So I'm going to take my answer from up here. So sec theta tan theta equals 2 tan theta. So straightforward question here to solve. And I am between minus pi and 0. So first of all, bring everything onto one side. So sec tan 
minus 2 tan equals naught. Factorise out the tan. So we have sec minus 2 equals naught. So tan equals naught and sec equals 2. Tan equals naught and the tan graph is 0. And um, that's minus pi over 2. And at next equals 0 at minus pi. This one here is 1 over cos equals 2. So cos is 1 over 2. So your principal angle there from the cos graph is this one here. It's the lower one. So it's 60 degrees. I'm in radians, so it's pi over 3. Using your cast diagram, your interval is between naught and minus pi. So I need a split, a split interval. Cos was positive, so it's in here. So theta is minus pi over 3. Now if you look very carefully at the question again, it says we're between minus pi and 0, but not including minus pi and 0, so I don't include these answers. So my only answer there is theta is minus pi over 3.